back the last couple of years or two of the last three years and just being an older guy, has he kind of carried himself since you arrived here? Has he kind of carried himself as is the leader or, or a leader uh, of the team, even though that he hadn't been announced yet as a starting quarterback? Uh, yeah, definitely since day one I came in, uh, you can definitely tell he's one of the leaders on the team, uh, vocally and by his actions. Um, so, you no, know, I came from, I first came in, uh, before I even got on campus, you know, he reached out and was trying to build that connection right away. Um, so he definitely showed it well to me early. To follow up on that, how, how did he reach out to you, and, and what kind of conversations did you guys have uh, when you were when you were coming in? Um, just through social media, um, and it was just you know welcoming me with open arms, um, and it just other personal conversations between me and him. So it was good though. Okay, Perry with Tom Lock Nation. Hey, how's uh, the transition to game week prep been going? Just kind of uh, transitioning out of fall camp. Uh, it's been good. Uh, all of us are just ready to, you know, hit somebody else other than you know, each other. Uh, so there's definitely a lot of emotions out there. Um, but it's all good. Um, yeah, we're just ready to you know, for September 12th to come around. Okay, as long as four chat. Jay, John, running back seems to be such a, a rhythm-based sort of position. You, you may, maybe need some reps to during a game to, to see the holes and, and get comfortable, but there's there's so many guys in the backfield. Uh, Coach kind of talked about, you know, you're not going to have – no one's going to have time to really get comfortable. Uh, does it change your approach playing in an offense where there are four or five guys kind of nipping at your heels? Um, no, it doesn't change my approach. Uh, my approach is going to stay the same. Um, now everybody back in the room is capable of doing good things. Um, so I put the trust in coaches, and you know, whenever whoever's, whoever's time it is, you know, to go in the game, they'll be ready. I work for a uh, both Coach Norvell and Coach Dillingham uh, complimented the offense and the way you guys responded after the second scrimmage. They said the last week was was much more productive and consistent. Um, in what ways did you see that? What do you think has been something that's kind of helped you guys turn things around? I'm uh, just cleaning up the self-inflicted wounds. Um, a lot of, we had a lot of mental mistakes that first week. Um, but coming in that second week, you know, we cleaned it up. You know, we came together and said, um, let's just be better than we were the day before. Um, like Coach said, we gained 1% better. Um, so we really focused on that, um, cleaned up a lot of mistakes, and uh, things started looking a lot better. Chris Lee with the 247. Hey, Jay, Sean, as a group, how far has the running back room come in the last three weeks, just as far as understanding everything being asked of you guys and – kind of the different stuff thrown at the backs because of different skill sets? Well, we've come a long way. It's it's crazy how fast it, it came around. Um, but we all learned, you know, we all getting offense down pretty pretty fast. Uh, the freshmen are running well. Uh, me, LaDamia, Chef, everybody's running well. Um, so that you can tell the whole offense as a, as a unit is starting to click a lot better. Um, so. I remember. I mean, the whole, the whole country, all of us have been through a lot over the last, you know, six, seven months, but you particularly coming back from your injury, changing schools, um, has it hit you that, you know, maybe in a week and a half you're actually going to get to play college football again and, and to get to do, do it in Doe Campbell Stadium? Uh, it's weird you say that last, last night. It kind of hit me. I was like, because, like, wow, like, we're about to play a game uh, next week. Uh, so it just kind of became like, Reality for me. Um, I got some butterflies because I haven't played in a while, but that's normal. So I'm just ready to play. Okay. Probably all just gone home after that. But Jay Sean, you know, ask Coach Dillingham just about if, if things are going to change with it being a, a pretty empty stadium for most of the season. And it won't change what he does in terms of calling plays mechanically, I guess. But he says that it, it'll bring out the players that, that want to really play and really love football. I mean, can you kind of wrap your head around the fact that you're, you're going to be playing this game at the highest level in front of 10 or 15,000 people most weeks now? Yeah, it's definitely uh, something that we have to, get, have to get used to. Um, but like you said, Coach Dillon said, um, we have to – it shows really well the game of football. Um, I'm, kind of, I'm excited to see uh, how it's going to be with no fans. It's hard to imagine – 
Um, but like you said, we're ready for anything. All right, we'll get Dan Blackman in here. Uh, he is uh, ready.